Okay, boy. Just a second. It's coming right up. Dinner is served. Dig in, boy. Whoa! Slow down there, big fella. You're gonna get the hiccups. Oh, no, Doogie. You can't say I didn't warn you. Yep, that's a grade A numero uno prototypical classic case of the hiccups. I bet you've had the hiccups too. It's crazy when it happens, huh? Sometimes you're just minding your own business, drinking a glass of milk, or perhaps you're laughing really hard at something, and suddenly you lose your breath and go hick. <laughs> but why does it happen? What causes hiccups? Well, first, we need to start about right here. Now inside your body is a large muscle under your lungs called a diaphragm. The diaphragm helps your lungs expand so you can breathe in air. And also to exhale. In a nutshell, the diaphragm is what makes breathing possible. Thank you, diaphragm. But sometimes your diaphragm can become irritated. Sort of like a bug bite that irritates your skin, making you want to scratch at it. And the way a diaphragm gets irritated is by drinking or eating too quickly. Or even if you swallow too much air, like when you laugh. <laughs> when this happens, your diaphragm decides to close much faster than your lungs can close causing air to rush into your lungs way too fast. When this happens, the rush of air will snap your vocal cords shut. And all of a sudden... So the hiccup sound you hear is just the sound of your vocal cords snapping shut. Hmm, we know that people get hiccups, but do all animals get hiccups? Well, since we now know hiccups only occur when the diaphragm is irritated, if an animal doesn't have a diaphragm, then there's no way for it to get hiccups. So, birds don't have a diaphragm, so birds don't get hiccups. Same with fish, no hiccups happening here. And even turtles, never a hiccup to be heard. But horses have huge diaphragms, so they get very loud hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not that loud. Kittens can get hiccups too, but they don't make much noise. Their diaphragms are pretty small. Grown-up cats and dogs sometimes hiccup if they eat too fast. Uh, right, Doogie? <laughs> oh boy, you still have the hiccups, don't you, Doogie? They should go away soon. At least I think so. So, what is the world record for hiccuping the longest? According to legend, a man named Charles Osborne hiccuped without stopping for 68 years. That's 476 dog years, Doogie. His hiccup started in 1922 after a huge hog landed on him. A hog landing on you is bound to irritate your diaphragm, along with a few other things. Finally, one day in 1990, and after about 430 million hiccups, Mr. Osborne's hiccup just stopped. But no hog was involved this time. Okay, so once the hiccups start, how do we get them to stop? There are a few different ways. Want to demonstrate, Doogie? Okay, boy. You can try holding your breath. Not too long, Doogie. You could try drinking a glass of warm water without stopping. Try gargling. Or even try drinking water upside down. Uh, kind of hard to pause. Or you could even try to make yourself burp. Well, that didn't work either. Hiccups may sound silly, but there is nothing dangerous about them. 
most hiccups stop on their own after a few minutes. Ha ha ha, Doogie. You silly dog. Now remember, next time try not to eat your food so fast. Oh, brother. Now I've got him. Do you think fetch is a good cure for the hiccups, Dookster? Might as well try. Hey, Doogie. Wait up. Will somebody please get me a warm glass of water? Sweet.